In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a double exposure effect in Photoshop. Let's begin. First, go to Select and choose Subject to automatically select the subject. Now click the Layer Mask button to remove the background. I'm renaming this layer as Subject. Next, create a solid color layer. For now, don't worry about the color, just click OK with any color. Drag the solid color layer to the bottom. Now drag and drop the city image onto the canvas. Move the city image layer to the top. Change the city image layer's blending mode to lighten. Right click the city image layer and choose Create Clipping Mask. Adjust the position of the city image inside the subject until it looks good. Double click the solid color layer's color thumbnail. Then click on this area of the subject to sample its color. This will make that color the background color, helping the subject blend smoothly with the background. Then click OK. Select the city image layer. And click the layer mask button to add a layer mask to it. Choose the brush tool. Open the brush menu and pick the soft round brush. Set brush opacity to 50% and brush flow to 50%. Use the bracket keys to adjust the brush size. Make sure this layer mask is selected and foreground color is set to black. Now gently brush over parts of the face to bring back some facial detail to make the double exposure effect look better. Now press Ctrl, Shift, Alt and E together to create a merged copy of all layers. Go to Filter. Choose Camera Raw Filter. Now apply these settings. Set Contrast to 50. Shadows to 60. Blacks 100. Temperature negative 15. Tint 6. Vibrance 50. Saturation 15. Texture 100. Clarity 40. Dehaze 50. Vignette negative 30. Also under Optics set Vignette to negative 30. Finally click OK. And that's it. You've created a beautiful double exposure effect in Photoshop. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment.